In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to automate plugins in Reaper. I have a drum track in front of me here, and I want to put a plugin on it and have the ability to automate it. Let's see what we have. So let's start by putting a plugin on this drum track. Go to the effects button here, and I'm going to put an EQ on there. I can just type on the filter, EQ, and just my EQ plugin show up. I'll use this one, Reaper's EQ. And I'm going to float this window just so it's easy to see. Right click over here, and I could choose Window Float Selected Effects just to make some more room. So, this EQ plugin is on the drums right now. Now, it has four bands on it one, two, three, and four, but I only really need one of them. So, let's delete the others. Just makes it easier to see. I'll show you why in a second. So, I'm going to change the type to low pass. And I'm going to bring the bandwidth a little sharper. And let's hear what that sounds like. I want to create like a filter effect. And I want it to sound something like this. Bring it down to about here. And then right at bar 13 over here, I want to bypass the plugin so it goes back to normal. And normally, what you would do is you go to this button right here, which opens up the envelope dialog for the drum track. And you can see we have envelopes for everything volume, pan, mute, and down here is our plugin. Now, you notice it's pretty simple frequency, gain, cue, bypass, and wet. If we had more bands, we'll add a bunch. Then, if we click this, you see there's a lot more to choose from. So because we're keeping it simple, it's a little easy to remove the bands we're not using. So let's remove them again, all but the one. Now normally, we could just activate the envelope right here so we could automate the frequency, but it's not really necessary right from the beginning because all we really have to do is go into automation mode, grab a parameter, and it'll automatically create an envelope for us. It makes it a little easier. So let's do that. Let's put it where we want to start which is about here. Now we could change the automation mode in a few different ways. We can go to the dialog again and change it right here. We could right click that button and change it over here. Or we could right click the whole track and change it down here. Any of the ways work. Reaper just gives you the options. So I'm going to switch this to touch mode, which means when I grab a parameter, it'll be automated. But if I let go, it'll stop automating and go back to what was already there, which is kind of convenient because we don't want to be writing automation constantly, just when we grab a parameter. So let's record a pass. And notice, as soon as I grab this, an envelope fader is going to show up over here for this parameter. That's pretty close to what I wanted to do. So Reaper automatically made this envelope for this parameter right here. Now we'll notice there's a lot of points here. It's much more complicated than it needed to be. So to fix that, we can just right click anywhere and choose reduce number of points. That opens up this dialog. If I just bring it down, we'll have less points. Just simplifies it. Right about here looks pretty good. Hit OK. Let's hear it back. Now we can still go back and tweak it. I could delete points by holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and just delete points. We could just grab points, move them around. Quantize them to the nearest bar. I'll delete this one too. Just to keep it simple. Now let's write some automation to bypass this plugin. I'm going to right click over here. Just to open up this way, it automatically floats it. 
as opposed to doing it this way. Just right click the button, choose the plugin I want, and it's floating. So to automate the bypass for this plugin, we use this button right here that turns it on and off. Make this a little smaller. And we'll open up the envelopes again. And this time I'm gonna turn on bypass. Make sure it's armed. And you see Reaper automatically made a lane for the bypass plugin. So I'm gonna to go to about bar 12 because I wanna bypass this plugin at bar 13. So I can hit this right there. And because I'm still in touch automation, it's gonna write it, but not erase what I did here. And you can see it wrote it right here. Get rid of the point that we don't need. And I can also move this point to be right on the bar because we have snapping turned on right here. So let's check that out. So the plugin got bypassed right at this bar here. It turns off. So that was written. Now, besides recording the parameters from here or from here, we could also do it from this right here. So I can play right from here and I can write the parameter with this fader here. Same with the bypass. I want to do that. So we have the option of doing it from here or from the plugin. And besides deleting points, by holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, we can also draw them. On the PC, you hold down Control. On the Mac, you hold down Command. And the pencil tool shows up. Then we can just draw the automation ourselves. Undo that. Another thing we could do is place an automation at certain points. So I can go right here, open up my plugin, and because I'm still in touch mode over here, I could just grab this, and you see it moves. So if I wanted to tweak this for the spot to go up to say here instead, I could just do that. And I can click over here, do the same thing. Maybe I want to go a little higher. Notice it changes at the spot where we placed it. So I could put this around here, bring this over to here, and adjust the automation that way, point by point. I could start a little higher. I like that better. So there's many different ways of controlling it. And every parameter you see can be automated. We could do the gain, the Q, the frequency, and that goes for all the plugins, not just any Q. So let's try a different plugin. Let's hide our bypass plugin. Now it's just hidden. We didn't delete it. We could go back and get it again. Right here. Make it visible. And it's back. But for now, keep it invisible. And as far as this frequency parameter right here, instead of hiding it, I'm just going to move it to the media lane. So it shows up over here. So it takes up no more room but it's easier to see that there's automation on this track. So let's add another plugin. But before we do that, let's just take ourselves out of touch mode. Back to trim read. And now let's add another plugin. Go to add. And I'm going to clear the filter and type in delay. And here's Reaper's delay. Double click it. And now we have a delay on the drum track as well. So let's create a delay effect. Under the length, instead of being four eighth notes, let's make it 1.5, which is basically a dotted eighth note. And let's add some feedback so the delay repeats. Let's see what that sounds like. That's a pretty cool effect, but it's a little too much. When it starts out, it's way too loud. And I want to automate it to kind of match what's going on here. As it gets less filtered, I want to hear it more. And as it gets more filtered, I want to hear it a little bit less. So 
So let's put ourselves back in touch mode. Right click over here, switch to touch mode. Now if I grab the wet fader, I'm basically turning down the delay. So let's bring it down to about here. Notice the envelope automatically showed up. Let's float this again. So now if I just hit play, I could write some automation using the wet fader. I think that's much better. Starts off almost off and slowly builds around here and then back down again. So let's simplify this one as well. Right click, reduce number of points, and we'll bring it down too much. Something like that looks pretty good. Let's hear that back. That sounds pretty cool. Now, if we go back to our plugin, you'll see this is now automated. And again, we could tweak it. Click right here, bring the fader down, and you see it adjusts where I put it. So let's bring it down to almost nothing over here for the start. And then over here, let's bring it up even higher. That's pretty cool. And again, we could hide this, or we can move it to the media lane. So now there's two parameters in there. And we'll take ourselves out of touch mode, ready for playback. And that's pretty much it. That's automating plugins in Reaper. And just know, every one of these parameters is automatable, not just the ones I've shown you. So play around with it, have fun. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.